Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Monkey Island 2 Ultimate Talkie Edition. Well, we've made it to Dinky Island at long last. Uh, there's a nice welcome sign here, so let's start off by looking at that, shall we? Welcome to Dinky Island, home of the treasure of Big Whoop. Nice. Well, it's very welcoming, isn't it? We've got a jungle here, but um, ooh, let's pick up this bottle. Well, let's look at it first. It's empty and there's a cap on it. Right, we'll pick it up. Okay, so we can't it's open empty it. And there's a cap on it. Because there's a cap on it. Um, so, if I remember right, right I think we can smash it. Yeah, is there anything inside it? Let's make a map and tear it into four pieces. Uh, I better be careful with this. That, uh, that sounds familiar. It's okay, still. let's go over it. It's a moonshine still. Moonshine, eh? Okay. Nice. Hello, uh, Mr. Parrot. Pretty Polly. Okay. Let's go over it one more time. Let's see what it's got to say. Go over it one more time. Oh, no, no, that's not right. Oh, no, no, that's not right. All right, well. Oh, look who it is. It looks kind of old. So there's some barrels and some crates. They say anchovies on the top. Can we, um, can we open any of these? Hey, there's a cracker in here. Nice. It's a, oh, it's a cracker. Okay. Uh, like a cracker for the parrot. Yeah. Oh, they smell like anchovies. Right. Okay, fine. Gee, okay. Captain Marley, well, where should we bury the treasure? Let's talk to this guy. Hi, Herman. Hi, Herman. Oh, hi. I've been waiting for you. Really? What do you mean you've been waiting for me? What are you doing here? I'm looking for a treasure. Have you seen any? I think I have better things to do than talk to you. Um, what do you mean you've been waiting for me? What do you mean you've been waiting for me? Our meeting comes at this, the final moment of my existence so far. <laughs> All else has been in anticipation of this event. Uh, pff, do you always say things like that? Do you mean to tell me that your whole life has been merely a prelude to meeting me here today? Do you mean to tell me that your whole life has been merely a prelude to meeting me here today? Yours too. But see, already the moment passes. Now our meeting is nothing more than another note in the grand overture to the next passage. <laughs> what are you doing here? What are you doing here? I'm teaching philosophy here. Well, other than that, obviously. Um, right here on the beach. Right here? On the beach? Sure beats a Tibetan mountaintop. Probably I can go surfing when things are slow. Warmer as well. Um, what sort of philosophy are you teaching? What sort of philosophy are you teaching? Neo-existentialist Cartesian Zen Taoism. It's all the rage at cocktail parties this year. <laughs> all right, how many students have you got? How many students have you got? Well, uh, none at the moment. Hmm. But as soon as word gets out that a guru such as myself is teaching at a beautiful locale like this, I'll have to beat them off with a stick. <laughs> if you say so. Could you teach me some philosophy? Could you teach me some philosophy? Okay, here's a Zen koan for you. A what? A philosophical puzzle. If a tree falls in the forest and no one is around to hear it, what color is the tree? <laughs> um, forest green. Forest green? Nope. Okay, brown. Brown. Not even close. Uh, blue. Blue. Nope. Red. Red. Not exactly. Cyan. Cyan. Not exactly. Lavender. Lavender. Nah. Magenta. Magenta. Nope. P uh, puce. Puce. Nope. Aquamarine? Aquamarine? Nope. Taupe? Taupe? Nope. <laughs> Jesus, how many colors are here? Burnt Sienna? Burnt Sienna? Not even close. <laughs> Raw Umber? Raw Umber? Not exactly. Uh, sepia? Sepia? Not even close. Mulberry? Mulberry? Not even close. <laughs> they just keep coming. Periwinkle? Periwinkle? Nah. Uh, orchid? Orchid? Not exactly. We're gonna exhaust these, by the way. Turquoise? Turquoise? Nope. Assuming it can be exhausted. Peach? Peach? Nope. Plum? Plum? 
Nah. Aubergine? Aubergine? Not even close. Oh, Jesus. Teal? Teal? Nah. Mustard? Mustard? Not even close. I wonder how many of the colors they actually, like, programmed into this. Cabernet? Nope. Slate? Slate? Nah. <laughs> Smoke? Smoke? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Not even close. Joe, you know I'm not even sure if it's possible to to exhaust this. It's probably got pretty much every color you can think I of. I give up. Think about it some more and come back when you have an answer. Okay. I mean, if any of you guys have done that to the point where it stops coming out of options, let me know. But, um, oh, there's a party. Let's you make it up and tear it into four pieces. There's a glass as well. What's all this stuff? Martini all glass and a crowbar. Is there anything else around Let's here? Let's make a map and tear it into four pieces. Yeah, see, he's recounting the story. Gee, Captain Marley, where should we bury the treasure? Polly ah. wants a cracker. Yeah, so, uh, we can, maybe we can give the cracker to the parrot. Head due east from the pond to the dinosaur. Not a washout like you. Head due east from the pond to the dinosaur. Okay. I mean, I don't think we can go anywhere. This is no. Let's go into the jungle then. Ah, oh, this is the maze, isn't it? Right. Okay. So I think, if I remember right, there's like statues with things like dinosaurs and things like that on. Is that right? Oh, it's a rope. Might be useful. Look strong. I can't pick that up. Oh, we can't. Hang on. Can we pick up the rope? Yeah, nice. Can we open the box? It's nailed shut. Ah, can we use our crowbar? Hey, dynamite. Just like it says on the side. Ooh, cool. Let's get some of that. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Okay, so here's the pond. It's a disgusting bog. So due east from the pond to the dinosaur. I uh, don't know if that means we keep going east until we get to the dinosaur. Yep, okay. Dinosaur. Oh, there he is. Oh, we Gee, can't. Captain Marley, where should we bury the treasure? Can we, uh... Oh, no, no, that's not right. Polly wants a cracker. Yeah, I don't think we've got any more crackers. Polly wants a cracker. I don't, yeah, we haven't got any more crackers, have we? Um... <laughs> Oh, the heck with it! I'm, I'm so, I'm Let's make a map and tear it into four pieces! I'm sure we can't brute force this, so... Go to find some more crackers from somewhere. I mean, I don't know if we can just get loads from that... That crate or whatever it was back on the beach. We might be able to. Um, my memory of this part of the game is pretty... Um, bad, <laughs> to be honest. I remember that you have to go through a maze and it's got like... You know those topiary shapes and stuff, but actually I don't Gee, remember. Captain Marley, where should we bury the treasure? A whole lot more. Um, is there anything else in it? I can't pick that up. I want us look in it. It's empty. Oh, it's empty now. All right, so we don't have any more. Okay, crackers. let's go over it again, so no one forgets where we bury the treasure. Uh, what up, Herman? What up, Herman? Oh, hi. Hi. Um. I'm looking for a treasure. Have you seen any? I'm looking for a treasure. Have you seen any? There are many treasures here, found and unfound. <laughs> the beauty of the ocean, for example. All right. I was thinking more along the, the, the lines of, of the monetary past, game. Seen in the rings of trees. Actually, I'm looking for the treasure of Big Whoop. Shut up, Herman. Big Whoop? Yeah. I'm afraid I am not uh, familiar with that one. Hmm. Hmm. I think I have better things to do than talk to you. I think you will find that the concept of better things is the frailest of illusions. Is it now? Well, uh... And do east from the pond to the dinosaur... It's empty. Oh, there's nothing... Okay, there's nothing in it. I want my granddaughter to... <laughs> right. Let's head through. Um... Can we... What happens if we... Sorry, it's like a little fly flying in front of the screen. Um, is there anything... I, I don't know if we can... Can actually get to anywhere through this place. 
Oh, okay, hang on. There's a bag. There's something lumpy in it. Okay. I can't reach it. Can't reach it. Can we... I don't think I ought to do that. No, can we, like, cut it with this? Oh, yeah, I think we can. What's that? Box. It's instant low-sodium cracker mix. Just add water. Oh, okay. This is sounding familiar. We have to make the crackers, don't we? So we need some water to do that. Um, what do we use? The pond water? I'm guessing we don't use the sea water, right? Because the sea water wouldn't make uh, good crackers. I think that's a bit too much water. Okay, can we can we get less water? We've got the glass. We haven't got our little glasses yeah. we had before. I don't want any of this revolting sludge. Okay, this is revolting sludge apparently. So maybe we do use the seawater. I don't see any other like water anywhere. Can we try it? Apparently, we've got to walk all the way down okay, here to do this. Let's go over it again. Oh, yeah. Don't okay. one forget where we bury the treasure. This water is too salty to use with low sodium cracker mix. Uh, are you kidding me? I want my granddaughter to we bury pour a it in real here? man. A captain. Oh, yeah. Maybe we can. That seems to have gotten most of the salt out of it. Oh, okay. Distilled water. Nice. Not a washout like you. Okay. So we've got two crackers out of that. Okay. Let's go over it again. So no one for Right. So we go east from the pond to the dinosaur. I guess let's not give him a cracker until we till we get there, I suppose. Um, right, we'll head this way. We'll go to the pond. So we're going to go east from the pond to the dinosaur. This is coming back to me a little bit. Okay, east until we get to the dinosaur. Right. Let's give him another cracker. North from the dinosaur to the pile of rocks. Okay. North to the pile of Gee, rocks. Captain Marley, where's North to the pile of rocks. Well, that's a dolphin, so it's not that. So we'll keep heading north. Aha, a pile of rocks. Alright, let's give him more of this. Hopefully we don't need more crackers than this. Maybe we should have made more. The rocks to the X. Okay, rocks to the X. Oh, the heck with it. Oh, okay, well that was easy. Oh, you meant this trek. Yes, Wally, we <laughs> meant this one. Oh, why didn't you say so? You could have come by the shortcut like I do. Of course. Of course. Shortcut? Of course there's a shortcut. <laughs> I got to check this out. <laughs> of course. I want my Why not? Why wouldn't there be just a way to it right from there? That's the second biggest X I've ever seen. Yeah, it is quite big. Um, we're going to need something to dig that up, but luckily we still have our shovel. So. I've hit cement. Ooh, cement. Let's look at this. There's a layer of cement at the bottom. Nice, okay. Um, can we that use That doesn't seem this? to work. No. Uh, it's a layer of cement. What can we do with a layer of cement? Um, it's a layer of cement. There's a layer of cement at the bottom. I mean, we could maybe dynamite it, I suppose. I don't think it'll do much good unless I light it first. Right, do we have anything to light it with? Uh, oh, we've got matches. I mean, <laughs> oh, hang on. That doesn't seem to work. No, no, no. That doesn't seem to work. Um, okay. That's not such a great idea. Why is that not a great idea? Because I'm thinking we use the rope to like... Oh no, he's got his Scott fuses already. What am I talking about? Alright, well, we'll forget that. I'm trying to add extra steps in that don't need That's to be the there. last match. Oh, well, we probably should throw this. Oh my good god. Scott! <laughs> that went off very quickly. That came from the direction of Dinky Island. The idiot must be messing with my grandfather's treasure. Hey. Oh, I better get over there. It's not very nice. Oh, and here we are. Look. There it is. There's the treasure. That must be the treasure of Big Whoop. Yeah, it must be. Um, 
It's got some twisted... Hang on. Why are there cement and twisted metal rods? They look sturdy, apart from being all bent up. Yeah, they do. All right, guys. Well, I'll tell you what. That's a good place to end. Uh, we will... Well, we're going to use the rope, aren't we? So we'll do that in the next episode. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, Numinous, Coumadim, Paul Leone, Flossie the Sheep, JohnCon555, Chrissy, and Paul James. And I'll see you next time.